This is the World of Sports Network presentation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's the G to the U to the R to the U. Welcome. And today we're going to be doing the Kansas City Chiefs 2020 draft class. Yes, the Super Bowl champs. Those boys in Arrowhead are hype, man. They feeling themselves. They got the golden boy, the new golden boy, Pat Mahomes, man. Andy Reid and company are the hottest name in the streets. When you talk about NFL, you hear Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid. I feel y'all, bro. I feel you And you know what? The Chiefs did a, uh, they did another great, great things to help build what they're trying to develop in Kansas City. They're trying to get a dynasty, man. And the thing I'm going to tell you about the Chiefs, what they build, right? What they're made out of. They're made out of speed. I've seen this type of dynasty before, man, in a sense. I've seen the Rams in my heydays. Team built on speed, man. I've seen that. I've seen the, the, uh, the, the Peyton Manning play in the Indianapolis Colts built on speed. Damn you, man. The Kansas City Chiefs might be the fastest of them all, bro. With the first round pick, they went with running back Clyde Edward Eglair from LSU. First of all, this dude got three names. Three names, and he fits the exact profile that Andy Reid and company likes. He likes those scat back, man. Those guys that got hands. If you got no hands and you got no agility and ability, you ain't going to be drafted by Andy Reid's offense as far as a running back. You better have shake and bake, bro. Andy Reid likes shake and bake. He don't like that power. You know what I'm saying? If you're a power back, he don't, he don't mess with you. Trust me. If you're a shifty back, he got you. And my man, Clyde Edward Eclair, is a shifty back. Man, roll the tape on my dude, man. Let me tell you what he gonna bring to Andy Reid's offense. Roll the tape. So the first round pick, the Kansas City Chiefs selected running back Clyde Edwards Eclair from LSU. Um, when I looked at this dude, game film, I, I, I don't know about you guys, but did I just see a bigger Darren Sproles? Like when I literally look at this dude, I am, this dude is a Darren Sproles, like Andy Reid think he's so slick, man. He think he's so slick. We all know he likes those type of running backs, man. Those Darren Sproles, Brown Westbrook, those, those guys, he likes scat back, all right? This dude like guys that are quick, guys that are explosive. I'm going to tell you the theme of Andy Reid's offense and the draft is explosion and speed. So this dude is going to fit the Andy Reid offense to the team, man. This dude is a screen demon. We all know Andy Reid loved the screen plays, man. This dude could run screen, middle screen, side screen, left screen, right screen. Every screen you could think of, Clyde Edwards LA is going to do that. And frankly, if you have a dude I got three names, man, Bro, this dude got three names, so you already know he's he nice. If your parents gonna name give you three names, Clyde, Edwards, and Lair, bro, you know you special, bro. You know you special. Ain't nobody give you three names if you ain't special. And my man Clyde, Edward, and Lair is gonna be special for Andy Reid and company. With the second round pick, linebacker Willie Gay out of Mississippi State. I keep telling y'all, the model and the culture for the Kansas City Chiefs is speed, bro. There ain't even nothing cute about it. They want speed. Other guys want uh, uh, size metrics. Their whole metric is speed. Willie Gay is the fastest linebacker in the country, bro. Put this tape on this dude. This dude, sideline for sideline. I'm talking about flat out speed, bro. My man is a oh, bro. Man, you know what? Put this tape on this dude, bro. Put the tape on my man, Willie. Put the tape on Willie Gay right now. Linebacker Willie Gay out of Mississippi State. When you look at this guy, you can tell the Kansas City Chiefs. The Chiefs are built on speed everywhere, offensively, defensively. When you when the Kansas City Chiefs are chilling the draft board, their number one priority is speed. And Willie Gay is fast. When it comes to linebackers, when it comes to sideline to sideline top linebacker, Willie Gay is the fastest of them all, man. Andy Reid is not playing whole games when he's trying to build his team and his structure. Some people like Tennessee build it on physicality, and some people build it on straight out. Speed, 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 speed. And when you look at Willie Gay's highlight, you put on Willie Gay's highlight, man. You can't run screen on Willie Gay. Like, for real, for real. Like, this dude is uh, it's on screen proof. You can't, he's screen proof, man. I've never seen a dude that's so screen. Actually, yeah, I've seen the dude from the, um, Brooks from, from Texas saying that the Texas Tech, they want to see y'all drafted. But other than that, this dude is, you can't screen this dude. If you try to run screen against Willie Gay, bro, you're just going to get negative yards. That's how nice this dude is. I was film on this dude. It's like he sniffs screens. Like, come on, man. He's a screen sniffer. Yes, he's a screen stiff. I don't know why um, Andy Reid got this dude. Because Andy Reid loves to run screen, man. You go put up the tape, man. Uh, when he, when um, Clyde Edwards-Alaire tried to run screens, 
anyone try to run screen on my man Willie Gay, man, it's canceled Christmas. It ain't even gonna work, man. Great pickup by the Kansas City Chiefs, sticking to exactly what they're trying to build, which is speed, speed, speed. In the third round, the Chiefs run with offensive tackle Lucas Nang from TCU. When it comes to offensive linemen, the Chiefs got the, the Chiefs they draft the best offensive linemen. I don't even know who they are, where they come from. Nobody knows. They never know first round pick, bro. But the Chiefs in the middle of rounds, they know how to pick offensive linemen. The Kansas City Chiefs have never in my life have a bad offensive lineman. Ever, ever. I don't even gotta recruit or even scout the offensive lineman. If the Chiefs pick offensive lineman, that means he's gonna be straight for a very long time. So my man Lucas Nang, I don't know who you are, but the Chiefs pick you up, you're gonna be a beast. In the fourth round, the Chiefs picked up DB Legeria Sneed. Hey, bruh. Hey, bruh. Hey, Louisiana Tech, bruh. Probably had the two best corners in the country, bruh. They, I know one thing. They had the two best corners, including the guys at LSU, in the in, in Louisiana, bruh. In the two best corners. Mama Legeria Sneed fits the profile. I'm telling y'all, everything they care about in this, if you want a 4-3, that's what the Chiefs look for, man. You do a 4-3, you're gonna be a Chief, man. I'm t if you want a 4 3 my man ran a 4 3 8 out the combine. Roll that tape on Legeria Sneed, man. My man is a beast. Fights a little undercover dude, man. Roll the tape on my dude, man. Legeria Sneed from Louisiana Tech, my man. The theme of the Kansas City draft pick is speed. Cornerback Legeria Sneed. Well, I mean speed. Andy Reid and company, that's all they care about is speed. Look at my man run his 40 yard dash, man. Look at my man run his 40 yard. This is what 4 3 8. Bro, if you run a, anything more than a, higher than a four or five, the Chiefs ain't gonna be looking at you. My man right here, I will, hey, this dude went to the same school as my man Amik Robertson. Yes, y'all go check out my tape on my man Amik. Those two probably had the two best corner combo in all of football. Yes, I know those guys in LSU gonna talk the nonsense. Bro, go put those guys in Louisiana Tech. Those guys were the two best corners in the state of Louisiana. My man, uh, Lujaria Sneed and my man Amik Robertson, bro. My man Sneed and Amik Robertson is a beast, and the Kansas City Chiefs got themselves a beast with Legere Sneed. You talking about a guy that's fast? You talking about a guy that wants it? You talking about a dog? Bruh, dumb dogs out there in the secondary were dogs, man. I'm talking about they were hungry dogs. They were pit bulls. Forget that, they were pit bulls. My man Legere Sneed is a pit bull. He's a pit bull dude, and this dude make plays, man. Andy Reid, y'all got this. This dude make plays. He's a way better Stevie Nelson, bruh. Y'all ain't gonna miss Stevie Nelson. This dude is an upgrade from uh, from uh, from Breland. What luxurious Sneed? Watch out for this dude. This dude is a playmaker, man. Y'all, I know a bunch of y'all in Arrowhead don't know about this dude, bro. But you put up the tape at Louisiana Tech. They had the two best corners in the whole country, bro. The two best corners in the country, and that's a Meek and Sneed. Another great pick by Andy Reid and company for the Kansas City Chiefs. Look at my dude taking stuff to the house, bro. Look at my dude taking things to the house, man. Y'all better. Hey, man, the Chiefs know how to drive, bro. The Chiefs might be. <laughs> Look at Legarius. Hello, cancel Christmas. Y'all gonna like this in Kansas City. Oh, they're gonna like this in Kansas City, bro. Hey, you can't make this throw like this on Legarius. You can't make throw like this against Legarius Sneed, homeboy. You can't throw no wide out against the Gary Sneed home, but when I'm talking about feisty, my man want that ball. He will take it to the house, bro. Take it to the house with Darius. My man, great pickup, man. I love it, Darius. And him and Amik Roberts, man. I can sit here and watch those guys too. Go watch Louisiana Tech play. Their cornerbacks were the best in the country, bro. Best in the country, bro. And the NFL community took notice of that because Amik and my man Legere Sneed got drafted. In the fifth round, they went with DN Michael Dana from Michigan. And in the seventh round, cornerback the carriers keys out of Tulane. All in all, the Chiefs are amazing when it comes to draft. Andy Reid knows his culture. I'm an, I'm an NFC East guy, so I've been following Andy Reid since I've known football. You know what I'm saying? I love Andy Reid's regimen. I love what he does, and I love how he builds a team. And it's the same old status quo, man. He got, he got some style. He got his single style, and all those guys fit his style. Andy Reid is always about speed, 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 and putting, uh, and putting your best athlete in space. He's a speed space guy that's Andy Reid speed and space baby and this draft picks are all about speed and space y'all know the drill man like this love this share this and I am out